Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Microsoft Management Console Stop Working error you're getting on your Windows computer. So if you're getting a crashing error alert saying that it's no longer responding, this tutorial will be for you. So the first thing I would suggest doing would be to open up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. And into the search bar, you want to type in run. So just R U N. Best match should come back with run above desktop app. You want to just left click on run again. Now into this open field, you want to type in C E R T L M dot M S C. So again, C E R T L M dot M S C. Then left click on OK. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. So at this point, if you had a snap and you were trying to insert it, you would be able to put them in right through here. So if you were unable to open it up, hopefully this would have been able to resolve the problem. They just would add the snap in. So if you're still experiencing a problem with this, I would suggest closing on of here. Open up the star menu again, type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt. We're going to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash. So again, SFC, space, forward, slash, scan now. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will begin running a system scan. And if it does find any corrupted files, it should hopefully be able to restore them. Wait until the verification is complete. And then I would suggest restarting your computer. So this actually should have a good amount of success for a good number of you guys, hopefully, especially this method. I know it sounds pretty straightforward and something that does come up a lot, this SFC scan now command. But I do find that it actually will help with this problem in a lot of cases, so that's why I'm making a video about it. So, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.